Well, you know, since I had makeup on today, I felt that I should use it. So I have come to the front of the tape, the place, the video, I guess. And I might as well do a recording on who? On Love and Marriage Huntsville. The new season that just came out. Okay. Um, Carl King, Carlos King has an interview up with Dustin and Destiny. I did not listen to it, um, primarily because I am not a fan of Destiny. I think that Des I have sat through all of her other interviews. And I found her to be disingenuous. And so therefore, I refused to sit and listen to yet another interview. I was like, well, if I get bored and I have yet to get bored enough to do so. So therefore, I am not bringing you that information now. The first, this, this, the new one started with Martel. Martel getting arrested and he is sitting and talking about what it was like to be arrested and how talking to his mother and how this is not okay and how Mel um you know how he just sent a cup you know a few text messages a year ago and it's not that serious. And we're going back and forth between Mel explaining what exactly happened. And what happened is what we what we have known in the blogs. He decided to create him and his other baby's mother decided to create a fictional account with the man behind it threatening her to release a a um a sex tape that she made with her husband at the time now i think it's very interesting that he's like oh i shouldn't have sent those texts now the text i think is a is is a fascinating component here because the text messages that he has sent they only showed us one text message on the show and he went and did a Tasha K interview I did see that and he is consistently alluding to the fact that she cheated this is no longer, and I, I don't understand why he doesn't want, why he doesn't get that we don't care if she cheated. And in fact, I'm at the point where I hope she did. I don't think she did, but if she did, okay. Um, And then trying to allude to the fact that in the in the email in the interview that she was abusive because he dropped some videos of her abuse of her getting upset without the context of the fact that you stole fifty thousand dollars from her you took all of the money out of a joint account you didn't take half and she was asking for half and so she was getting upset and was like, I'm going to burn everything down. So he, the thing that bothers me the most is he doesn't want to say the full context of what is actually happening. He wants to be, he wants to fragment the story because he doesn't look good in this story at all. There's nothing of this story that makes him look good. So he wants to put this in fragments. He wants to allude that he did a, a DNA test on his latest child, the youngest child, that baby who was 
months apart from his son. And I'm like, sure, do a DNA test. It's your child. The baby looked just like you. Looked just like the other kids. It looked just like you. So I don't even understand what we're doing here. Um, and then what bothers me is this conversation that he has with his mother. His mother saying, "You're a good husband." So being a good husband means that you could just cheat. You can just cheat and do whatever you want and do whatever, do whatever and say whatever and move whatever. That's not okay to cheat and then call yourself a good husband. Define good husband. So he was a good husband who had a multi-year relationship outside of the marriage, not only had a multi-year relationship outside of the marriage, he then turned around, fathered two children that we know of outside of the marriage. Okay. And yet, so, and one of them was aborted. And yet, he's the good husband. Fine. So we have that, the good husband argument. She even says that you're a good father. So, and this is all about the kids. This is so all about the kids. We need to do all this about the kids. Okay, the problem with all about the kids is does the kids need to see their mother in whatever sexual position all around the internets? And yes, I intentionally put an S on it. And to know that your dad is the one who did it that's not okay you know like that's not okay at all and I have a problem with this like I have a severe problem all of us should have a problem with this and so when I sit there and I listen to her I said now even he himself was like well I did send the text messages and then so she, she'll she be like, yes, but you're still a good man. We all make mistakes. And you can see him sitting there thinking in his head, like the way that he's thinking, I was like, oh, so you're plotting. What What's your next move? Because I already know that you're plotting to do something. So what's the next move? And, and <sighs> last week he posted underneath um Sheree's picture the next Mrs. Holt all while he's taking you know he's living he's going out in public with his baby's mother as a couple like it is the most disturbing thing to see how he doesn't care about how his actions hurt other people. It's very sad. It's um it's upsetting. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. It's upsetting to watch. And um and then trying to make himself feel like he's the victim. So we also are getting like this Mel talking to her brother about it. And she was explaining how, like, when you are young and you're in this marriage, you don't know what you know. And she was saying, I would not tolerate what I tolerated in the past now from a partner. And I think that's true. I understand what, exactly where she's coming from. You tolerate a lot more when you're younger and in different positions. So I do think, I, I didn't tolerate as much when I was dating, but I will say that I definitely tolerate a lot more in um, in a marriage that I know that if I were to, if I hadn't gotten married, 
before and I was going on my first marriage in my 40s, there the, it would be a different setup. It would be it would be a lot different. And I can understand where she's coming from. You're going to move a lot differently, not because of just experience, but just because of the different positionality. When you're young, you're merging your lives a lot more. You merge together like me and my husband. Our lives have merged a lot more. We are much more of coupling, even though he has his own thing, I have my own thing, but we absolutely have in some are a lot we have a lot more shared goals um than what uh than what I think some would have and if you're married you should have shared goals but um I would not get in a situation where you're spending a lot more time building each other because at the time I'm in my 40s early 40s <laughs> and if I were to meet someone if I wasn't married and I met someone in my 40s I'm not building from the ground up like me and my husband built from the ground up we're not doing that again um, so I get where she's coming from, but the problem with Martel is that he was on the losing end because he was so involved in the extracurricular activities that he wasn't really building enough of himself up when, when she was doing, he allowed her to do a lot more of the building just in general, a lot more of the business and everything to where when she can walk away, her life keeps growing. When after he walked, after she walked away from him, his life couldn't keep growing in the same way because he wasn't involved in that. The side chick made an assumption that he was much more involved in that than his wife was. And so his wife could have is prospering the both of them. What I don't understand about side chicks is that some, especially this side chick, is that you honestly think, there's a couple of things. Number one, you honestly think that he, if he's this busy with you, what do you think his wife is doing? So you really played yourself in this aspect. But then also number two, there's another bigger issue, um, which is what happened on Carlos King when she did the the meeting, when Mel and Carlos King did the, did the live show. What I thought was most telling of this live show is Carlos addressed the issue with what Martel, Martel comes out saying, oh, this is just an act. This is just a show. He says it's on, on, um, in the, on the interview that he did with Tasha Kay and he gets on this internet and he starts ranting. This is all just a production kind of a thing. So Carlos takes offense and he kind of addresses Martel directly Mel's like, look, I am, Mel didn't say this, but you can see this in her expressions. I told you people that he's not the best of dudes. You people just wanted to, you people wanted to give him benefit of the doubt until he scorned you and, and called you out. So he wants his real life to be filmed. So essentially what he's alluding to is he wants his side check to be filmed. The problem with this is, now this goes back to my next issue. In what world should Melody allow the side chick to eat off of her? I'm supposed to let you come on a show that I produce to eat off of me for ratings? Absolutely not. Now, if he has another woman that he is with, sure, she can come, but not the one who literally sat here and knowingly was a side chick, got pregnant by him twice, had a baby once. 
that I'm going to let you be on the show that I produce for some ratings. There ain't enough ratings. Ain't going to happen. So, um, so I know that that's what you desire, but Martel, sir, your antics are going to get you to the point where you're not going to be on this show. So your, your real life may not be filmed and you ain't going to have a check. So, um, yeah. Then when he said that children need their fathers more than their mothers, sir, you don't have a stable home. You're renting homes. No shade, but you just got kicked. Last season, you were being kicked out of one spot. You don't have a stable living environment. You don't have a stable income coming in. Why would she, why would you get custody? You don't pay child support. I, when I looked at him, I said, you know what? And it is okay. I mean, I think you being an involved father is, is important. But to say that you are more important I can't, y'all. I'm moving on. Okay. Um, Destiny is on the show. And we're now getting some very interesting information about what's going on with Destiny. Destiny was dating a man. And her producer of the show has now married him. So she has a problem with him, which I have a problem with it as well. We collectively have a problem. I am on team destiny on this one. And I know that she went on, she did go on the show with uh, Mel and Carlos and try to explain her way. Oh, we really didn't talk about him. That's a bone face lie. When she was on the episode, when she was on the last season that she was on, not this season, but not the last season, but the season before, it was, she talked about him. She was on the phone with him. She talked about him more than she talked about her ex-husband. What are you talking about? So if you're her producer, then you have absolutely been around this too. According to Destiny, she called herself a cousin. So then it's like, oh, is it kissing cousins? I want to see the confrontation. I think that it's important to have this conversation. Absolutely. I am team destiny. They're married, so I don't know what the point is in confronting him, which we see is going to happen um, to make you feel better, fine. But to confront her, absolutely. And nobody on the show seems to be understanding her point. Now, Mel seems to be like, look, she ain't, Destiny's not innocent either. Look, it's called karma. <laughs> anyway, um, anything else that's worth noting about what happened is, um, oh, yeah. You know, when you see yourself on camera, I can understand where you're like, oh, I got to get in the gym. I got to get better. I got to get tired. So it's nice to see that Stormy was like, look, I'm not going to look how I've been looking on TV. I'm getting better. And I appreciate that. Um, Nell's like, I need to do the same. Yeah. Um, Nell is, does not like the fact that Martel is being, was put in jail. Okay. Um, Stormy's like, well, when you do wrong, I don't see what the problem is. Now, the next component is, I think it's a big one, Kiki. Um, Kiki is beyond messy. And I tried to understand what was being told. I listened to it and I was like, now y'all gonna have to explain this to me. Like I'm simple. So 
she tried to blame her mother at releasing photos that her mother was not there to take said photos. Is that what I'm supposed to hear? So she thinks that everyone is going to believe that her mother is going around. Now, now I know that her parents are supposed to be just as messy as Wanda. I get it. But are we supposed to believe this? So again, this gives us to be more we give us more credence on um on um on her cousin's side because you know because Kiki has lost her mind again. Kiki is sitting up here trying to act like she's not doing dirt doing some dirty stuff backhanded manipulative stuff look i hate i hate the fact that um tisha's right because i don't like tisha leads me to the last part before i leave tisha didn't want to go to the event to see carlos's event because she was like i'm not gonna be in a room full of millimeters um stormy does go and Tisha makes a comment saying that the millimeters don't have lives, they're hateful, they're this. You know, she kept, you know, going through the whole list of they um they need a man, whatever, whatever. First of all, they're old. Okay. Um, ma'am, millimeters are looking at the reason why millimeters don't rock with you is because we do not think that you are an honest woman we think that you are a jealous woman even when you say that you're not jealous. your hatred for male is nonsensical to us we don't get the root of why you would laugh at male being cheated on and you did Go back. Um, if you want to act like I didn't laugh, okay, yeah, go back. We don't understand why you would throw in her face that he bought a BMW for this chick. We don't understand how you can go between being her friend, not being her friend, back and forth. And when she went into business with you, she put you on the show. She went into business with you, with your company. You're built, she, um, to your, you and your husband have admitted, more so your husband admitted that she helped you become more informed of how to do what said business you're in. Um, put you on the show. And the way you have treated and dismissed her is unwarranted because it was you first. So therefore, we're not going to rock with you. So because we're not rocking with you doesn't mean that we don't have lives, I have a life. Does it, that we don't have careers, I have a career. That we're not, that we're single, I'm married. By the way, I am in your sorority just with male sorority. We are in the same sorority together. You are inauthentic. You are a two-faced woman, and we have seen it. You lie. So we're not rocking with you. So we don't like what you say. I'm trying to call us that like we're not pretty good that we're not cool people for you. Anyway, with that being said, um, I think I'm done.
So I will um, talk with you all later. I could do, real, you know, I am going to do Real Housewives in New Jersey because it's going to be quick. And I'll talk with you later. Bye.